good morning. Today is Monday, October 28th. Yep, 28th. I had to think there for a minute. Uh, we're on our way to go get Birdie for our um, water aerobics. I don't know why that's there. There's like a little, you know how when you're, um, they want to find out how much traffic comes down the street? Like to put a stop sign or something, and they have that little wire that you got to go over that they count it. That's there, and I don't know why that's there. It's been there for the longest time. Anyway, well, <coughs> excuse me. We do have birthdays. I had to write them down. Today is Crystal's birthday from Live Chill Life. Today's her birthday, so she gets a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Crystal. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. I was like a stalker because I heard her in one of her comments. She was commenting to somebody because I don't think she told me because I didn't have it in my calendar until I saw it. And she had mentioned to some one of my subscribers that her birthday was today. So I stalked her. <laughs> anyway, um, it's also. Stephanie Anderson's 50th birthday. So Stephanie gets a song too. Arkansas. Hmm. License plate tag. You gotta guess the next one. Um, Stephanie gets a song. I'm sorry, I got distracted, Stephanie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stephanie. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. And. Stephanie Hakula told me her husband's name was Dale because I sang to her on Saturday. So I'm going to sing to Dale today. I know he probably doesn't watch, but maybe Stephanie will show him. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Dale. I'll have to look at my calendar and see when I have anniversaries coming up to let you guys give you a heads up so you can tell me your hubby's name or your wife's name or your significant other's name so I can sing the proper song. Um, <clears throat> today is, like I said, the 28th, which means there's only 28, 29, 30, 31. Four more days until it's November. It doesn't seem possible. This, this month went by so fast and <clears throat> I did a lot of reflecting over the weekend not to mention a lot of eating I ate a lot I don't know why my weekends get away from me I do know why my weekends get, get away from me but that's not something I'm going to discuss today I have decided that for this week only I'm not going to show you my food for this week I am going to do a, uh, move, move, move. there's not that many squirrels in this neighborhood and this one wanted to play chicken. He was running right in front of my car. Um, I've decided that I'm going to finish out the month of October with a series of provocative, maybe, I don't know, questions I'm going to ask myself that I'm going to have to say out loud and hear it for myself and share it with you as to why I'm struggling so much. Um, Rosie Muro, M-U-R-O, I think, or M-U-R-I-O, I forget how it went, but Rosie had asked me um, from one of my um, comments that she had given me on one of my videos over the weekend, how much weight I lost in October. And I thought, you know, how much, how much weight did I lose in October? And so I looked, and I weighed the first Saturday of the month and the last Saturday of the month Saturday of the month I weighed the exact same right to the point 229 point whatever it was exactly I didn't lose that one pound in October I mean I lost but I gained so I mean in the whole scheme of things I didn't lose that one pound which was ridiculous and then I looked at September and I lost four pounds so I lost a pound a week in September, which is way better than last year, because last year in September I gained 10 pounds. So I think I got a little overconfident. But the question I'm going to ask myself 
And I'm going to ask all of you guys today, is why am I afraid to lose weight? Because there's a reason I'm afraid to lose weight. And I have to figure it out, what my reasons are. Because there's so many different reasons. Uh, I can understand if you want to um, lose weight because you were abused or you were raped or, you know, or something. I, I, don't, I, don't have, I didn't have any of those things happen to me. I really didn't. I just don't. I mean, I've told you that I thought maybe at the ch as a child I was molested, but I don't know that for 100% certainty, so I can't even use that as an excuse. But I have to ask myself, why, why am I afraid to lose weight? I, it could be a fear of failure because, you know, I put out there that I want to lose weight. I put out there that I wanted to lose at least a pound a week. And am I afraid that I'm not going to do it? Am, am I afraid... That if I do do it, something's going to happen to me? Um, I, I don't know. Um, I, am I afraid I'm not going to be able to eat any of my comfort foods anymore? That, I think that one plays into it a lot because I love my comfort foods and I had my comfort foods the whole weekend. And, and I know with the freestyle program you can have your comfort foods. I know that. There's not doubt in my mind that uh, I can have them if I put them within, within reason but for some reason I go crazy on the weekends and like I said that's a question I'm going to ask myself another day this week because uh, it's, 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 it, it's haunting me, it really is um, am I afraid I'm going to lose any of my relationships? No Jim was very supportive of my weight loss, he doesn't go out of his way to uh, entice me to go off my diet because it is a diet no matter what you're on it's a diet I know they say it's a lifestyle but <clears throat> a lifestyle is your diet so um, I think I have to stop calling it a lifestyle and start calling it a diet until I wrap my head around the fact that I'm afraid to lose weight I'm afraid of failing I'm afraid of being a different person uh, I, I like who I am am I going to be a different person if I lose this weight I personally don't think I will be but maybe I will, and maybe that's one of my biggest fears, is that I'm going to be a different person, and I don't know, that, that could be, um, that could be a reason. Is it because I don't want to, I got to use my weight as an excuse? You know, I'd like to go with you on that hike, but, you know, I'm too heavy, and I'd be too winded, I wouldn't be able to do it. You know, I'd love to go shopping with you, but, you know, after so much time just standing, I, I get dizzy. I, I can think of a million reasons why I don't want to do stuff, but then I can think of a million reasons why I want to lose weight so I can do stuff. I told you my initial goal was just to fit in an auditorium seat for my grandchildren to, to watch their concerts, their spring concerts, their winter concerts, their Halloween, you know, things. I, that was my main reason. Well, now I can get in the seat, so why am I afraid? I, I'm, just, I'm just too afraid. And... Um, is it that I don't want the attention? I am an attention. I have a YouTube channel. Obviously, I want the attention. But I I, I don't know. I, I hate when, this is my biggest thing that I hate, is when I'm really doing poorly and I'm not losing weight. And I see people that see me all the time anyhow. So they, you know, like they, they'd see me. And it's kind of like I take it as a dig when they say, you're doing really well, how much weight have you lost? You look like you've lost even more since the last time I've seen you. When they know darn well you haven't lost any more weight. And I don't know if they're just doing that to be nice, to kind of goad you into being better, or <clears throat> if they're just truly trying to be supportive because, I don't know, it just it's just a question I gotta ask myself. But uh, we're at Broody's now, so I'm gonna have to continue this conversation when I get back. Well, actually, when I get back from water aerobics, I'm going to go for a walk. But when I get back from my walk, we'll finish this conversation. Hey, my friend. She even blends in here. Look at her whole house is all white. <laughs> even her husband is white. <laughs> and got white hair. Oh, well, it's getting We're there. off to go swim. Lucky us. Lucky dogs. Lucky dogs. Lucky us. See ya. Well, it was a gorgeous walk. It'll be the last one in a long time, gorgeous-wise. We're supposed to get uh, snow this week, so uh, rain tomorrow, for sh they said for pretty much for sure, so we'll see. 
Uh, I'm going to finish winterizing my plants, go in and drink my water, do some laundry, close up my video, and think about my message that I'm giving to myself. Also, um, Kathy, uh, over at Kathy's Weight Watchers, WW Journey, did the uh, weight loss tag, so I'm going to put a link to her channel, so go over there and watch her, um, her tag and see if you can learn a little bit more about her. So um, let's get the winter rising beginning and ending and get on with our day. Okay, so why am I afraid to lose weight? I, I think that there's so many reasons, because I've been really thinking about this. Even during my water aerobics class, I was thinking, I was listening to the teacher, you know, doing what I was supposed to do, but I was trying to think of along the way what, what things, why. Um, some of the reasons might be that I think it's going to be a major change in my life, but I've been doing this for almost three years now. December 29th, it's three years, and so I can't even think that it's a major change in my life. It's been going on, on as long as I've been doing this program. Um, do I think that if I lose the weight that my problems are going to go away? No, I'm going to have the same issues. Um, I'm terrible with money. I'll be terrible with money to the day I die. That's not going to correct anything. Losing weight's not going to change that. That's just who I am. I know that. But it still comes back to why am I afraid to lose weight? I really think part of the reason I'm really afraid to lose weight is that I'm not going to be able to eat the way I want to eat. And I don't understand that logic. I really don't understand that logic because I feel so much 150% 100, better when I eat healthy. I woke up this morning just feeling like crap because I ate so much crap over the weekend. And and I it's food that I can have if I figure it in during the week. My problem is I'm on a vicious, I'm like on this little, like a rat on a little cycle, you know, like one of those wheels, a rat on a wheel. Because I, I deprive myself Monday through Friday so that I'd have a pretty good weigh in on Saturday. I get weighed on Saturday and then just go off to the races and go crazy on the weekends because like I'm rewarding myself because of this food I've deprived myself all week. If I could just get through one weekend and just be knowing, being knowing, just know that if I could get through the weekend that if I wanted a cookie or if I wanted a donut or something along the, along the way during the week, I can have it. But I'm playing catch up Monday through Friday to make up for Saturday and Sunday. A whole nother day, that's another topic. <laughs> that we're gonna talk about this week. Trust me, we will just definitely be discussing my weekends this week. I know that. But I just, I like to eat. It makes me feel good. I wish I could say that, you know what? And I, I love my walks. I absolutely love my walks. But they don't give me the same satisfaction as the Suzy Q does. And I know that's terrible. I know that you shouldn't say that out loud, but I have the mindset, I'm 69 years old. I've been eating this way for a long time. And it's taken a long time to, to grasp onto the fact that I can't eat like I used to eat. I used to be able to eat a lot of food. And if you've seen my plates, you know I still eat a lot of food. But I, I don't know, why am I afraid? Why am I so afraid? So these are the four tips that they've told me because I went online to figure out. These are four tips that I'm going to try to figure out. I'm going to spend the rest of this week thinking about it. I'm going to ask myself every day, why are you afraid to lose weight? There's got to be a reason. I'm going to start small. I know I said a pound a week, but maybe that's not a realistic goal for me. I mean, I should be just as happy that I have any kind of a loss. Maybe setting a pound a week is too big of a goal for me, and I get discouraged, and that could be part of the reason. I, I don't know, uh, but I'm going to start small. I'm going to just take whatever loss I have each week. I'm not going to strive for a certain number on the scale. I, I know how much I better I feel with my clothes. My clothes feel so much better. Uh, I'm able to move so much more. And I fell at the gym the other day. I told you that when I was putting on my pants, I lost my balance and fell. But you know what? I was able to get up. I couldn't have done that. 76 pounds ago. I couldn't have done that. I would have been rolling around on the floor trying to have somebody help me up. I would have had to have that naked lady come and help me up. So I was glad I didn't. So number one, I'm going to start small. 
Uh, number two is log your fears. I'm going to start writing down in my journal because, you know, I don't write in my journal my fear. And I, I know I have to figure out what my fears are. Why am I afraid? That's, that's a really good one, number two. I have to really think on that one. Uh, number three, seek out support. I think that the reason I love going to my meetings so much is because I get so much out of them. I really do. I love doing this channel. I get so much support from all of you guys out, out there. Um, you're all very supportive of me. You gently push me if I'm going the wrong way and you kind of, you know, you, you're not mean about it. So I know that. And the fourth thing I got to do is plan for the long term. I have to plan on knowing that I have to get over this fear and I have to plan that it's not something that's going to stay with me forever if I can identify, identify the reason why I don't want to lose weight. Why am I afraid to lose weight? So that's my struggle for the rest of October is to figure out why am I afraid to lose weight. And um, tomorrow we'll discuss something else. I do have to tell you that I have been fairly well with my meals today. Like I said, I'm perfect Monday through Friday. Um, I sometimes feel, I don't know what the word would be, obligated to show you my foods. And so, so maybe I'm not, maybe I don't like showing my foods on the weekend because then I can go crazy. Another day, another subject. So um, anyway, maybe you can tell me, why am I afraid to lose weight? <laughs> okay, give this video a like. Leave a comment, subscribe, and share. And it's a question I'm going to be asking myself all week. And I know I keep saying it, but I have to say it out loud. Why am I afraid to lose weight?